Hi everyone and welcome. So this is the very first video of Spandan SCADA series and in this video we are going to see how you can install Spandan SCADA in the Windows machine. Okay. So here is the Spandan SCADA installer file and here is the license file. So we are going to first install the Spandan SCADA in our system and then we are going to license it. Okay. So let's see how you can do that. And if you check that the Spandan SCADA installer is only 37.4 MB so it's a very lightweight SCADA okay so it's a very um, good feature of this Pandan SCADA so let's see how you can install it in the Windows machine so I'm going to double click here to start the installation now you have to accept few agreements for this Pandan SCADA installation so I'm going to press I agree again we have to press I agree and then again we have to press on the I agree button and then after the component which we are going to install with the Spandan SCADA so every component we are going to install with the Spandan SCADA including configuration runtime designer everything so it will take 161.8 MB of our drive okay so that's very less and that's very lightweight so we are going to press next here and the location I'm going to install the Spandan SCADA is in the D drive okay so in the D drive I'm going to uh, install it in the program files folder okay so that's fine and then we can press install to start installing the spandan scada you can see the installation is done and we have a shortcut on the screen okay so i'm going to hit this close button to close the installation wizard now we will launch the spandan scada so here is the spandan scada So whenever you launch Spandan SCADA for the first time, it will ask you to provide the license key along the details. Once you provide the license key along the detail, it will create one uh, license info file which you have to send to the Spandan SCADA team and they will provide you the .lic which is license file and that file you can use to license your SCADA system. So how you can license it? Okay, so we have already received the license file from the Spandan SCADA team. So I'm going to show you that how you can license it. So you have to open the location. Okay, so open the file location of your Spandan SCADA system and here in the activation folder you have to copy paste this license okay so i have copy paste the license file in the activation folder of spandan skeda system now i can close it and i can reopen the spandan skeda system so here is the spandan skeda after providing the license it won't ask for the license again it's activated now okay now we have to log into the spandan skeda system we have already done the process of creating credential so it won't ask me to create the credential again okay i just have to provide the credential and i can log into this pandan skada uh, configurator so i'm going to provide my username admin and the password okay and uh, it will ask you to allow the public network okay then if you want to allow spandan skada to access the public network then you can uh, allow it otherwise you can uh, reject it so here is our Spandan SCADA configuration screen. Okay, now you can adjust the screen as per your requirement. Like if you want to drag this uh, window to here, then you can drag it. If you want to drag this window to here, then you can drag it. Okay, it's up to you how you want to adjust your configuration screen. And that's it. And along with this Spandan SCADA configuration, you will also have other two application okay for the designer and uh, i forgot the another one so let's open that so from here you can go to directly to the file location and here you can see yeah the third one is the report designer so this one is the report designer this one is the configurator and here one more we have is the designer okay so you can use designer to design your SCADA screen you can use uh, Qt report designer to design your report and you can use pandanskata.exe to configure your pandanskata communication okay so if you want to communicate with the Morbus MQTT Profinet or any other serial communication you can configure it from here so everything we are going to see in the future videos that how we can connect pandanskata with the Morbus serial device Morbus TCP device OPC MQTT so everything we are going to cover in the future videos this is just the installation guide okay so we have successfully installed this pandan skeda in our system okay we have successfully opened the configuration screen of our pandan skeda so 
so stay tuned for the future videos for more tutorial related to the spandan skater so if you have any question or any concern regarding spandan skater then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can comment on this video also you can ping me on linkedin also you can email me on my personal email so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you